Following the attacks on September 11th, Amber Smith, a then college student, felt compelled to serve her country. God bless her. She joined the Army to go and fly helicopters, soon becoming one of the few women to fly the Kiowa Warrior helicopter into some of the most dangerous com combat zones in the world. Smith served two combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan and is now the author of a book. It's called Danger Close, My Epic Journey as a Combat Helicopter Pilot in Iraq and Afghanistan. And Amber Smith joins us again this morning. Hey, Amber, Hi, thanks for being with us. Congratulations on your success. Thank you so much. Tell us about your book and what it's like to see your name on the cover of a book. You've been through so much. It's absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of this book because it's really the untold story of the Kiowa warrior in combat and how essential it was on the battlefield every single day and how it was a part of contributing to combat uh, success in two theaters of operation. What is the what is the Kiowa helicopter, the warrior helicopter? So the Kiowa warrior, it's an OH-58 Delta. It's a light attack reconnaissance helicopter, and we're basically a mini gunship. We carry 50 cal machine gun, a rocket pod that carries 2.75 high explosive rockets, and we can be configured to carry Hellfire missiles as well. But the best part of our mission is that we are direct support for the ground forces. So infantry, uh, I've worked with Marines and special forces, anybody that's on the ground and needs help. Um, and are, have been under attack by the enemy, yeah. that's our job is to come in and You're help them. You're one tough cookie. All right, so your whole family's in the military. You have two sisters. They're also military helicopter pilots, right? Well, my younger sister, Lacey, she was a Black Hawk pilot in the 101st Airborne with me, Screaming Eagles. And then my older sister, Kelly, she still is a C-130 in the Cal uh, C-130 pilot uh, in the California Air National Guard. And then both of my oh. pilots were, or my parents were civilian pilots as well. My word. Gosh, what a wonderful family you have serving Thank our country. You. Now, you were part of flying security for President George W. Bush. You yeah. got that call the morning of, right, that this is a top secret mission. What happened? So it was one of the last missions that I flew in Afghanistan in 2008 in December. And I remember it was supposed to be my day off. And they told me, no, um, we have a mission that we need you to fly on. They wouldn't tell me what it was about, but they said that I would be glad that I was flying that day. So obviously that interested me. And I was like, all right, let's do this. And then when I came in for my mission brief in the morning, I realized that we were flying aerial security for Air Force One as they flew into the airbase. So all of the airspace was closed except the Kiowa team that was there. So we were providing aerial security around the base as Air Force One came in on approach. And just for some time context, it was when President Bush got the shoe thrown at him yeah. in Iraq. The follow-on mission was into Afghanistan. He was going to meet with President Karzai. And a little small world story is that Dana Perino uh, happened to be on Air Force One as well. So, so you kept her safe as well. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank, Thank you, you for serving Andy. our country. Of this course. is the book. It's called Danger Close. You got to go pick it up. Here's the book. Congratulations. Thank you, Ainsley. You're welcome.